Hey guys, what's up? It's Hobo here, and I have Beta 1.7 again, and right now we are going to do the rest of the uh, update. Um, I swear I just saw a sheep over here, but no matter, we'll find one later. So the other major um, adding adding a uh, item, add uh, yeah, I'm trying to say item that uh, Notch and Mojang or whatever, whoever did it, uh, added to uh, the game was shears. And you make a shear by taking iron, and I'm just doing it in the uh, small 2x2, two because two, you can. You can do it in the normal, if you want. You just put two iron diagonally across from each other. Let's see if it works. Yeah, it works that way, too. And what shears do is they remove the functionality that lets you uh, punch sheep to get their wool. But you can now use shears, which is what they do in real life, to uh, get the wool off them without damaging them. And I think I think it's more efficient. Um, you can only get wool without shears from killing them, and then it only yields one maximum. But this will yield the I think the same two to three random. Yeah, you just right click with shears. Um, they are like just like any tool, they decay, and they will pop off wool. It works beautifully. So you can go and just let's harvest some sheepage. Another thing, uh, another change, I should say, it wasn't really added, is that Notch made it so TNT can only be activated with redstone powering, so like a, a torch and a switch there, like that, or a button, or whatever input you have, and, uh, or fire, so you can make like a wool fuse, so you could light this on fire and have TNT at this end. I'm not going to demonstrate it, because I don't want to destroy my testing field here, but, uh, that's another change. He also made it so uh, you can stack fences, like so. Before I had that tutorial up with the technique that you had to move uh, top down, and it's a little bit of a pain. But now you can stack as much as you please. Um, shears can be used to quickly remove wool. Um, before it took a while of either punching or I think sword was the most efficient way to do it. But this is nice and quick. Um, I don't even think it takes up a use from it, from the, uh, shear. Nope, it doesn't move down at all. Um, I'll have to check up on that. It might just have a lot of durability. But, uh, now, uh, wool is much easier to work with. And, another plus, um, shears can be used to, uh, harvest leaf blocks now. And by harvest, I mean you can quite literally pick them up, as you can see here. So we can shave down trees. And you can uh, you can use this for decorating. Um, it's fairly quick. Takes up a bit of usage from the uh, from the shear, but that's no problem. And you can place the leaf block as you normally would place any other block. So you can use it to uh, design hedges. But uh, just like regular leaf blocks, they have to be touching or near wood. I think it is four blocks. It has to be four blocks away from wood, so anything past this point will uh, decay. But you can make shrubbery now, you can just uh, dig one down, throw a log block on there, and then just make a little shrub. But this is uh, pretty cool, it's uh, kind of a, a new way to uh, decorate your house. You can make shrubs, you can make uh, you can design trees the way you'd like them, so you could have like just a top tree like that, or you could do that before, but you know what I mean. You could grow leaves on the bottom you can uh... you can do a lot of stuff with leaves uh... Um, normally people used to uh, edit them in and now it's there's a legit way to do it with shears and uh... i think that's about it i will have the full change log as always for beta one point six in the uh... in the description of course um, those are only other changes the two major things were pistons as i showed in the, in the other video and shears, which um, are very useful, very useful indeed. It's just actually, it's kind of a pain though, because I was punch sheep, and now I have to carry another item in my inventory just to do it. So it's kind of a shame, but oh well. And uh, that's about it. See you guys next time.